What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Shabazz. Welcome to the channel. So, as many of you know, One Piece is my favorite anime of all time. It is top two, not two. What are you talking about? So, a lot of the characters that are in the show have these things called devil fruits. And essentially what a devil fruit is, is in exchange for your ability to swim, you gain some kind of supernatural ability that a lot, like no one else in the world has. So no one else has your devil fruit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, devil fruits is kind of ironic because in one piece, these are pirates sailing the seas. And knock on wood, if a ship was to collapse, the person can't swim. So it's like the instant death. like, And these pirates be fighting, not all the time, but a lot of the time, on the sea, in the seas. And they just, they don't care that, feel me? <laughs> like, if they, like, these devil fruit users, if they fight and they fall into the water, they will drown. Unless someone, you know, digs them up. Or picks them up out to sea. But devil fruits are broken into three categories. Which are Paramecia, Logia, and Zone. Uh, Paramecia are the most common within the bunch. Um, this type of devil fruit allows the consumer to achieve one of a large variety of abilities. That enable them to become a superhuman or perform a superhuman feat. Uh, so essentially to become that kind of person. So... A perfect example would be uh, Doflamingo. He ate the string string fruit. Like, he became a string man. Like, he can control strings. He can control the strings. So, like, at his will, like, he can make, he can attach things to the strings and stuff like that. Um, some Paramecia devil fruits are cool like that. Others are hit and miss and unless you have like a catalog on all the devil fruits out here kind of like blackbeard what he did you kind of don't know what you're gonna get so it's like a lot of russian roulette with these things because you don't know what kind of ability that you're gonna get but it's up to the user to know his devil fruit know the devil fruit and to be able to utilize it the best way they possibly can right so now we got low gear fruits which are the rarest among the three, right? Those who have eaten a logia fruit are granted a power to transform their body's composition into a natural element at will. This also allows them to create and control it. So a perfect example would be, you know, the current fleet avenue of their navy. He ate the magu magu no mi, which is like the magnum fruit. So he can, like, he can control lava and magma. Like, that's kind of... It's kind of cold. We don't like him, though. Because we didn't forget what you did. <sighs> Pain, depression, sadness. But you can't front and say that that's not a, a dope devil fruit to have. Uh, Logias are... Uh, some of them are hits and some of them are misses. So like, a hit would be the Mago Mago no Mi. But a miss would be the mud fruit. Like, that kind of kind of trash. Like, you gotta... Like, you have... Let me not say it's trash. Let me say it all depends on the user. Like a fruit, some fruits are like average, but if you have a creative and innovative user, you're able to do a lot with that fruit. But if your user, if you have an OP fruit, but the user isn't that like the, his battle IQ isn't that high or their creativity isn't as high, then it's easy to say, oh, this character is a waste of potential. You know what I'm saying? And lastly, we have zone devil fruits, which allow the user to, to transform into an animal species at will. Or sometimes there's mythical zones where you can, can transform into a mythical creature, like a phoenix, shout out to Marco. Zones are the most complicated ones because unlike other devil fruits, they they said to have wills of their own. So like, it's just different. Some of them are like duds. But others, though, if, again, I would not stress this enough. If the fruit's user is creative and in, like has that initiative to like make their fruit better and train their fruit, then it can become OP. That's like the introduction to devil fruits. Uh, not trying to give you too much because it's kind of like going into 
why these particular five are my favorites. But in this video, I will provide you with my top five devil fruits in One Piece. This is not a strength test. These are not the strongest. These are not like the fastest. These are just when I saw them for the first time and I like researched their properties and stuff. I was like, yo, that would be so fire to have in One Piece, one, but in the real life as well. But before that, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, tell a friend to tell a friend, and let's get right. I right, uh coming in at number five, we have the Giro Giro no Mi, um, also known as the Glare Glare Fruit. Uh, it's a paramecia type of devil fruit that allows the user to see through everything and also read the minds of others, allowing the user to become an insight human. Like, no cap, that would be fire, bro. Like, this was used by Viola. Uh, we first meet her in Dress Rosa. Um, she's a henchman of Doflamingo, but in reality, she's one of the princesses of the kingdom that was seized by Doflamingo. So that was you know, kind of a alternative twist. Um, the user can see through a person's clothes and the skin. So much like an x-ray, like specs. Um, but they also can read their minds and their memories, allowing them to see through any lies. And for me, that would be so dope. Like, especially in 2022 or in life in general, like even like either even further beyond that, like we can just, I know when you're lying, like this could be on coworkers. This could be on employees if you're a boss you can this has that has universal like utility you know what i'm saying um it allows the user to also transfer their own memories to another person's mind so like that's just like i can like see what's what really is the root of all your problems like, kind of, i could basically be like an op ass like psychiatrist like you feel me like listen to the people's bullshit knowing the lies and the truth and just be kind of like a god like no cap like that omnipotence factor is kind of dope like when i say the omnipotence like four thousand kilometer kil uh, kilometer radius like that's the distance i have so i can monitor everything within a four thousand kilometer radius radius so for context right 4,000 kilometers is 2,485 miles so I can see everything from a 2,000 mile radius bruh that's kind of fire like no cap no cap like I can always be one step ahead of everyone around me and the only thing I think I would develop which would be like the only like detriment is a god complex like, because I can see everything 4,000, 2,000 miles away, and I can know what's going on. Like, that's kind of, like, a little overwhelming. Like, you can let that get to you, but that will be fire just to have in real life, though. No cap. Does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. A god. All right, uh, coming in at number four, we have the Mirror Mirror No Me, also known as the Mirror Mirror Fruit. Um, it's a paramecia devil fruit that allows the user to create mirrors which can reflect attacks and also appearances on others. Um, two words, two words, pocket dimension. <laughs> uh, you're also able to, with this fruit, you're also able to essentially like teleport anywhere. As long as there's a mirror, you essentially have like your own little like space. You have your own little, like, mirror dimension that you basically can travel to, which is kind of fire, not gonna lie. Uh, think of Kamui from Obito. Like, that's basically have your own pocket dimension. Like, as long as there's a mirror somewhere, you can travel almost anywhere as long as there's a mirror. This was used, in, this was used by uh, Bure Lee. Uh, she's one of the daughters of um, Big Mom. But... I feel like she's not, this is not the strongest fruit. Again, these are not the strongest fruit. But if I have the ability to go from place to place, no matter the condition, as long as there's a mirror, that's kind of cold. And also, you get unlimited storage with your own basically pocket dimension. Well, I guess mirror dimension. 
that's 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 tough. That's honestly tough. Like you can go to work in like five seconds if you go from your bathroom mirror or your room your like your bedroom mirror to the office. It might look a little weird like you coming out of the mirror. Just hope no one's there. You know, you can see everything. You can see what's out of the mirror. So if there's someone brushing their teeth or someone washing their hands, you wouldn't want to come out of the mirror right there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this, it just is dope because it's not the strongest. It's not the flashiest. But if used the right way, this can be a real tool for anybody just not trying to go to commute. You got you got your shorty, you got your significant other. Oh, babe, come see me. Oh, you're too far away. My parents aren't home. You hit that mirror flex. You feel me? You valid. You know what I'm saying? You valid. Word. Like, there's so much potential with this double fruit. And it's just dope. It's just dope, y'all. It's just dope. Word. All right, y'all. Coming in at number three, we have the Goro Goro no Mi or the Rumble Rumble Fruit. Um, odd name. I don't think it matches, <laughs> but for me, we just gonna go with it. Uh, the Go Girl No Me is a Logia type double fruit that grants the power to create, control, and transform into lightning at will, making its user a lightning human. This was used by, uh, he goes by many names: Enaru, Anel, the God of Skypea. Like he goes by many names. Um, but this fruit. I know I said for like non strength wise, but this is one of the strongest devil fruits in existence. The Slogia's power is to become lightning itself, you know, to generate control and transform into electricity. The user can discharge variable amounts of electricity from their body to manipulate as they please. And like that includes like regulating the voltage. Like I could turn it up to the max or I could keep it calm, you know what I'm saying? Like, this fruit, I put it here simply for the attack power. Like, this is, like, one of my favorites. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, no. Like, despite the fact that NL looks like Eminem. But this looks so fire. Like, this user of the fruit can physically morph into their element. Right? That's the power. Basically, a natural element. That's a low gear fruit. So, like, as electricity, they're, like, effectively intangible and can let most attacks through like but by fully becoming electricity the usually i can move at lightning speed and basically allows me to like go not teleport but like i would say zip in and out of like someone's line of sight and also thanks to my electrical immunity i can freely spawn inside electricity inside my body without any repercussion and knock on wood if worse comes to worse if I should suffer like cardiac arrest or something, I can restart my heart with electricity. That's fine. And like the only weakness to this fruit, besides like so having someone like has like hockey, which is like the not I guess bio I guess biological, but like the that's the power system in one piece, like devil fruit and hockey. If someone has strong hockey or hockey at all, they can kinda like not tank it. But they're hockey strong enough, they can definitely take that damage. And also, the only weakness is, like, the scientific disadvantage to Rubber. So that's why he lost to Luffy in Skypea, because Rubber doesn't it doesn't be affected by lightning. So it was even to, like, like, physically, if your body's weak, you control lightning, okay? But if someone has Rubber, and they're just as strong, if not stronger than you, then they can definitely injure you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, other than that, I saw no drawbacks with this devil fruit when I first saw it. And I was like, yo, this is fire. So I definitely had to include it in this list. All right, coming out at number two, we have the Hia Hia no Mi or the Ice Ice Fruit. Uh, this was used by Aokiji. He's a former admiral of the Navy. Um, until he lost to uh, Akaino and stepped down. Uh, but as a Logia fruit, it allows its ability to transform into the natural element of ice. Um, it also allows the user to create and control ice on a potentially massive scale. Like, you can essentially freeze the entire area 
and make it a one big ice age. Like that's that's kind of cold, no pun intended. The user can instantly freeze anything that comes into contact. So like whether it be the air, whether it be someone else's body, like I can freeze that. I can create like giant like tritons or ice attacks and using the air and losing the air as the base and launch that shit to other people. That's kind of cold. That's kind of cold. Again, no pun intended. If someone comes into contact with me and if not treated properly, that person can get frostbite. So if someone tries to punch me and I use my ice to block it, that person can't get frostbite. If I'm attacking somebody, I give them a karate chop, hi yeah, and I touch them, that person can't get frostbite if not treated properly. Uh, also, if I freeze, say I freeze someone's entire body, that person can survive, but it they need to be very, very, very carefully thought out. And if, if they drop and break, that's instant death. But also, I would have resistance towards the cold, right? Which is clutch because I live in New York, and in the winter, it can get a little break, not going to lie. But the main point would be so my girlfriend could put her cold ass feet on me, and I wouldn't matter. Like I, I, I just shrug it off. Like, yeah, that's what happened for me. And I know what you're thinking. Aren't you gonna make her like frozen? No, I could turn it on and off if I choose to. You know what I'm saying? So another usage of the devil fruit is to transport across the ocean. Right? You would think in a world where if I eat a devil fruit, I can't swim. I can still travel across the ocean? The answer is yes. Um, you kind of need a, a conduit. So pirates typically use ships. The Navy typically uses ships. But uh, uh, Alkizi used a bicycle and froze the water in the path that he was going. So essentially he was able to like, bike across the ocean. That's kind of cold. <laughs> no pun intended. The Ope Ope No Me or the op op fruit takes the number one spot in my top five devil fruits in one piece. Trafalgar D Water Law is the lucky bastard that has this devil fruit. Because when I say op op, I mean O P O P. Like this devil fruit is like one of the definitions of overpowered. Like it's only a paramecia, but think it's a picture of this, right? You have the ability to manifest a spherical space, uh, your own personal space, right? Which you can use to manipulate the orientation, the movements, the figure, the physical con configuration of anything and anyone, myself included, into a surgical fashion. Like, I can, if I, my body, like, you could train your devil fruits, right? So I train my devil fruit. To create, this is called this a room, right? This room, I can make it as big as I possibly can, right? I can cut off a piece of rock, right? And I can control that and make it teleport with myself. Like, right? let's say a rock is all the way over in West Bumblefuck, and I'm all the way over here, and if it's in my room or my space, like, I could chuck the rock, boom, and I could. Be where the rock is. That's fire, bro. This fruit is literally renowned and, like, sought after for allowing the user to, like, perform, like, miraculous surgeries, curb diseases, and even circumvent physical disabilities. Like, no key. Like, you can fix up almost anything with this devil fruit. They call it the ultimate devil fruit, which is why I said this is OP, OP. Like, the last powder, though, like, because we done talked about, like, why this is number one. But the last, like, hidden gem as to why this is the OP, OP, the number one fruit, is in exchange for my life, I could give somebody eternal youth, right? I think this was this devil fruit was going for a billion berry bounty before Law ate it. And let's say he dies one day and it pops up in the scene somewhere. 
so like the world will be going after that fruit because you can literally change the world with this devil fruit. This fruit is straight OP. Any One Piece fan would love to have this fruit. Any One Piece character, maybe except for Luffy, if you know, you know, would want this devil fruit because this fruit has the potential to save lives. And it's like Law is not a dumb person. He is one of the smartest people in the story. And he was able to take this devil fruit that he knew nothing about. That was given to him by kind of like his pops, the doctor's pops. And essentially use it to save Luffy's life on multiple occasions. And to just be a dope ass character. He's a fan, Law's a fan favorite, half because of his appeal and relatability, but the other half, the bigger half, is his devil fruit, because his devil fruit is really like that, like, it's really like that, and we all, if you're a One Piece fan, like, I'm a One Piece fan, we all said, room, shambles, like, we've all done it, we all done the hands, the hand, hand motion, and the pointing up of the shambles. And we've all done it. And this dude Law has one of the best double fruits in One Piece. And if I had this in real life, I'd probably become a doctor and do a lot of good stuff with it. Because this fruit has that potential to become golden. No cap. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all we have for my top five double fruits in One Piece. As you saw, some of them have the strength factor in them. But with the mirror fruit, with the glare fruit, and the OP fruit, it's more about the utility for me. Like, these fruits, like, I have the potential to, like, I can, like, I would say the mirror, mirror dimension, that would be fun. But the omnipotence that I would gain for having the glare fruit would be so crazy. And the fact that I could change the world with the OP fruit, that's just game-breaking. And I'll be the strongest person around in a real-world setting if I had the gold growing on me. Because it wants touching me, bruh. It wants smoke like Thunder Panda ass, man. <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for today. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.